Well, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. We're here every day of hurricane season, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time, diving into what's happening in the tropics. And we've had some quiet stretches here or there, but now we've got a little bit more activity to track and to follow. And I hope you're going to be checking in daily to make sure that this system that's out in the Atlantic being watched closely by the National Hurricane Center continues to do what we expect it to do. And I do know that there's a lot of folks who are international regularly as well on Fox local. That's what I've been told you. You guys are over there always watching us, which is good. But in the international, it's on YouTube, especially the folks in the Caribbean. So glad you're here. Glad you're checking in and we'll see how we can kind of give you some information that's going to be helpful no matter where you are. Now we don't have an actual tropical system, but the National Hurricane Center is sort of watching a low pressure system in the Gulf and they have been for a couple days, not expecting it to become tropical, but certainly begin because it's had some impacts and de developing some rain and some uh, serious sort of um, I haven't heard over a, a, a lot of flooding conditions, but certainly soaking uh, parts of at least starting with Florida and then moving along the coast. So this is sort of the some of the rains that's associated with it as well. The actual low is sort of off that coast to Louisiana. You can almost kind of pick out a spin there that we're seeing. So this is going to start interacting with land pretty soon, and that's going to kind of put the end of it. That's why the Hurricane Center is saying they're not expecting this to become a tropical system. If it had a little bit more time over water, I think we'd have to be a little bit more concerned with it, but it's certainly some soaking rains that continue to move through the panhandle of Florida as well as Alabama, Mississippi, and going to move into the, the Louisiana region. Now for us folks here in the Houston area, Southeast Texas, we'd actually like a little bit of this rain. We're not going to get much of it, though. We're going to squeak out a few showers once we get into Monday, but for the most part, it's not going to be something that soaks Southeast Texas. So the National Hurricane Center and their tropical outlook officially saying a near zero chance that that low pressure, that rotation that we were talking about would become something that's actually tropical. And it's really not even expected to become something that's going to be a problem. Just again, going to be some soaking rains for some folks along the coast. So what about the rest of that Atlantic basin? Well, overall, the Caribbean quiet. That's good, right? As well as the western portions of the Atlantic. But it's still kind of that September pattern where we're seeing the waves coming off of the coast of Africa and those waves get a little bit more organization and they're trying to kind of do the best they can. And this X now marks a broad area of low pressure that again was a tropical wave kind of moving through or you know, still is a tropical wave. But this broad area of low pressure is starting to get in a much more favorable area of development. So this large red shading area here, this is where it could become a tropical system. And over the next two days, the National Hurricane Center giving it a 50% chance. And over the next seven days, they're giving it a 70% chance. And so that's code red. That's a high percentage that we're expecting this to become a tropical system. And they've gone ahead and labeled this as an area of invest. So they've got the, the big computer models running on this now. So we get a little bit better idea of what's happening and they can give some better information. And that's going to be air labeled as invest 95 L. So that's not a tropical system in addition. Just a reminder, this large red shaded area is not like a, an impact area. Who, you know, who needs to be concerned or worried about this? What it is, is it's where would it develop? It's a development area. So this is going to possibly develop and most likely I think it is going to develop into a tropical system, but that's not actually where it's going to go or where it's going to impact. That'll happen to kind of be determined once we actually get that closed low pressure system at the surface. And so we get these computer models running again. Once we get an area of invest, we can start the whole the, uh, suite of them. And you'll notice that the expectations here is if this were to develop, it's continuing to keep a fairly low latitude uh, movement and then eventually starting to kind of move in towards the edges of the Bahamas and the Caribbean and sort of that corner of that southwest corner of the Atlantic. So there's, you know, going to be pretty. This isn't really that far off as far as the computer agreement. This is fairly tight, fairly confident. Sometimes we get out from five days in a system like this where we don't have that 
actual low pressure system yet and it could be a lot wider. Would it go to the Atlantic or would it try to sneak into the Caribbean? I, if you're in the Caribbean, I don't want to get you too relaxed. I don't want to get you too stressed because it does seem like this is going to try to move north a little bit. But certainly let's keep an eye on this. Make sure it continues to do what we expect it to do. And as always, five days away this early in the formation and it's not even a tropical system yet. There's certainly going to be some expectations for some changes in what would be happening overall, but it is important to look at those water temperatures that helps to kind of fuel this and these are very warm when you get into the mid 80s. Uh, that's certainly going to be something to concern with and we certainly don't want it to end up in the Caribbean with these upper 80s. That's even more fuel for that rapid intensification, but once that gets in here a little bit closer, that could certainly help to kind of make it grow stronger and more organized. Just picking one of our models, the GFS model, and you notice here's that broad area of low pressure, so it doesn't really look like a tropical system yet. We'll start sending this forward through time, spending several days. I'll pause it here on Thursday, and it certainly looks like a tropical system on Thursday, and it's kind of going right along with where we saw that suite of computer models, that spaghetti plot, if you'd like to use that term on where that's going and you'll notice that we're going to continue that pattern right to that southwest corner of the Atlantic. Definitely looking tropical, maybe even a hurricane for sure. The possibilities of a named storm, a tropical storm, but then what's what watch what happens once we get a, a week from now. Okay, so this is a long ways off, always expecting some changes, but a week from now, this system would be expected to really start lifting to the north. So give or take a couple days that could actually start happening a little bit earlier or it could start happening a little bit later, but that's the basic trend. That's the basic idea. We need to kind of keep an eye on this, see how it unfolds. Obviously, if it waits later to make that northerly track, that would in fact possibly put it into the Caribbean or having more interaction with the US or the Bahamas. If it pulls up earlier, makes that northern track earlier, then it would be less likely to be an issue for land and it might just stay into the Atlantic. Next name on the list, Jerry. So it looks like this will be Jerry that once this system continues to get organized and once it becomes those uh, winds that are a circuit, those winds are strong enough to be classified as a tropical storm. Just kind of a reminder when we got to the October 1st time period, if you take all the shading here in red, um, that's about 25% of our historic activity that takes place after October the 1st. So this isn't like an even peak. You know, you've got a lot happening out here early and then it, you know, we have the peak around September the 10th, but about 25% of the season is left when we get to uh, October. And typically we would have two named storms in October, two named storms in November, and that's kind of the numbers that history would tell us to expect. This season has been a little wonky. It's not quite following a traditional historic pattern, but just sort of letting you know what we would normally expect to see. Things seem to be a little bit delayed. We might end up with a few more, maybe not as many. We'll see how it kind of unpacks. We'll getting close to those seasonal numbers, but it doesn't look like we're going to be way above our seasonal averages for sure. As mentioned earlier, every day of hurricane season, we're right here bringing you the latest on the tropics. We'll expect to see you again here tomorrow.